Hello, this is Siddharth Amber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. Welcome to our weekly educational live broadcast. On this broadcast, I discuss common questions that I hear from uh, patients as well as my own staff and team members about issues related to what we're doing here in the clinic. As a reminder, here at Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine, we focus on evaluation and non-surgical treatment of arthritis, tendinitis, injuries, and back pain. So a relatively common question that I hear from patients who have knee arthritis is, how does this compare to, let's, how does platelet-rich plasma, which is one of the regenerative treatments that we utilize frequently for knee arthritis, how does that compare to something like a gel injection, a hyaluronic acid injection? And over the last several years, there have been a number of comparative studies looking at group of patients who use platelet-rich plasma versus a group of patients that use hyaluronic acid. Pretty consistently, the data shows that platelet-rich plasma gives better relief and functional improvement longer term than the gel injection still. Enough so that I really truly believe that first-line treatment for someone who has mild to moderate arthritis of the knee, if they failed physical therapy or exercises, should be to consider platelet-rich plasma treatment. And certainly over, let's say, the gel injections. So interestingly, a article came out recently from the journal in the Journal of Orthopedic Surgery and Research that was a meta-analysis that looked at comparing platelet-rich plasma versus hyaluronic acid injections in knee osteoarthritis. So a meta-analysis basically means that they take a look at the literature and they collect together the studies that they want to analyze and look at and then report on what they're finding. The idea being that one study is, is very helpful, having comparative and repeat, repetitive studies by other physicians and clinicians and researchers gives more weight to that overall finding. And so in a meta-analysis, you take multiple of those sort of studies and then put them together and then try to see what your what, what are the results when you look at it in multiple different studies. And so in this particular meta-analysis, they looked at 20 randomized trials comparing platelet-rich plasma versus hyaluronic acid injections for knee arthritis. And what they found fairly consistently, when you look at it over those 20 different studies at the three month, six month and 12 month time points, that there was a significant benefit with platelet-rich plasma over hyaluronic acid injections when it comes to pain and function, which let's face it, that's really what the point of treatment is for knee arthritis, pain and function. Can you get somebody feeling better? Can you get them to do more physical activity? Can you get them to be more active in their activities that they enjoy doing, exercise, activities with friends and family? Can you get them more active in their regular life? And so in all of those kind of studies, um, platelet-rich plasma did much better than hyaluronic acid. So great. Is this, is this useful news? Is, this, is there anything here to see? Well, my initial impulse when I saw this was, well, really nothing new to see here. We already know this. For starters, we have multiple studies over the last several years, over the last 10 years that really backs this up, that platelet-rich plasma is a better option than hyaluronic acid injections for moderate level knee osteoarthritis. And my own personal experience, I find that to be true as well, partly because platelet-rich plasma is just a stronger treatment for treating the knee um, intra-articular joint, meaning injecting into the joint than just gel injections. But in addition, the other benefit of platelet-rich plasma is that you can treat all those other soft tissue components that drive pain, meaning the tendons, the ligaments. And if somebody has maybe a pinched nerve, you can treat that as well, all with that same treatment. And that's something that you can't do with the gel injections. So clinically, anecdotally, that certainly was no new news to me. I've, I've certainly known that since 2008, since I started using platelet-rich plasma in, in arthritis. And certainly for my colleagues that are frequently utilizing these kind of treatments, there's really not a lot of new news there uh, either. But on the other hand, hey, this is kind of actually um, incrementally big news in the sense that this was picked up by multiple, um, lay, multiple outlets in the lay press as well as in the general medical press as well. And so that's significant because 
the way in medicine that you actually make progress is inch by inch incrementally. Uh, I think we're all seeing that when it comes to COVID-19, that medicine does not have a really straight linear course. It tends to be kind of back and forth, up and down. And that can be a little bit maddening for the general public. It can be even be a little bit maddening for physicians if you're really trying to push things in a more um, uh, positive and sort of uh, um, uh, more defined direction. But that's how medicine works. And that's how science works, a little bit incrementally one way, then back up and then keep on moving forward. And so in that respect, this is actually reasonably big news in the sense that it's starting to hit the general medical um, level in a, in a way that goes beyond just such a small niche where you're starting to see more and more physicians who recognize the benefit of platelet-rich plasma. Helpful because when it comes to things such as um, being recommended this treatment by your physicians, you'll rely on that incremental evidence. Number two, when it comes to things like um, uh, how do you utilize this with other treatment modalities, it helps to have that acceptance as well. And then lastly, when it comes to even payers, insurance, this is how they generally end up um, reaching that level of significance as there's incrementally more and more evidence to stack that up. And so this is a positive in that regard as well, that we have progressively more and more information layering on top of itself to really show that platelet-rich plasma is helpful more so than other types of injections, including hyaluronic, inject hyaluronic acid injections for knee osteoarthritis. So good news, incremental news, not necessarily breathtaking, breaking news, but certainly helpful news. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your time. As a reminder, we do this on Mondays and Wednesdays, uh, talking about non-surgical treatment options for arthritis, tendonitis, injuries, and back pain. Appreciate your time. If you have questions or things you'd like to hear more about, email, shoot me a message, and I will certainly look to include that next time. Until next time, have a good day and live well. Bye-bye.